Hey, my boy, John Eric here over at GPC. Check out what I got for you. So you ordered two sets of coasters, uh, two, well, actually four bricks. I'm going to show you all of them right now. This is one of our showroom pieces. We made it a few years ago. You're like, hey, man, I really got to have that. I'm like, we're not selling these. These are just for looks. And you're like, I'm begging you, please. So here you go. I'm hooking you up. This is a six coaster set. This particular one has a Mercedes logo cut in because on a coaster, if you do it out, like in this where it sticks out, the drink would fall off and it wouldn't be any good. So when you handle these, if you want to keep them really nice like this, I'm going to recommend you use the gloves that I'm going to include with the deal. These are the uh, chrome dome tops. Normally we do flat tops, but you like the really cool ones. And I'm obviously you're Cowboys fans. So if there's any other Cowboys fans watch this video, give my boy a thumbs up. If there's any Cowboys haters, give them a thumbs down. So, you know, you got to go both ways. This is a gorgeous set. This one, uh, actually it's upside down. This one we made, gosh, a minute ago. But we had actually made the coasters, but never a base. And you are the recipient of two gorgeous sets of coasters. Moving on. This is an old showroom piece as well. This is before... We were doing the star pointed out like here. This is uh, indented just like this is. This is one of our old school bricks. We don't make this brick anymore. This is super heavy. We call this one the elephant size because this one is actually nine pounds and it only holds $10,000. So here's the $10,000 cash. You got beautiful machine lines in the bottom. This thing has been sitting and getting repolished in my showroom for years, literally. That's my old logo, in fact. I haven't seen that logo in a minute. But we're getting rid of the showroom pieces, trying to make room for all of our Christmas stuff that's coming in. And this one, now, I hate to call you cheap when you just spent this kind of money, but listen to me. You didn't want to spend the money for polished bolts. And on this particular brick, you have to have polished bolts. Let me show you the difference. So I'm going to give you a set of polished bolts and a tool to match so that you can appreciate how beautiful these are. But I had my boy grind for hours to get these things looking gorgeous just for you. I didn't charge you for that. So don't think all bricks come like this. They don't. Next time you say, I really want those, I'm going to charge you full price for them too. But I still love you. Let's throw this back on. To line this up, all you do is line up where it says the brick here. goes with the brick here. Set it down. It's got little sleeves that keep it intact. Obviously, you know how to close it. You're going to get several of these tools. I'm not going to tighten them all down. I'm going to keep this video as short as I possibly can and get through all of your stuff. Now, my favorite brick of yours is this one. This one is a machine finish, which is this really heavy texture right here on the edges. It's all around every single side. It's along the handles. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Um, when you get this in certain lights, it'll turn into a rainbow. It's very, very neat. Also, you wanted the Mercedes logo cut into this, but I wanted to give you the deluxe. I didn't want to cut it down. I wanted to give you a raised logo. So what I did instead of cutting the logo into it is I made a separate badge, made a, a recess in the lid, and installed that permanently. So this one holds $20,000 cash, double what this one does, but this one's got a surprise. This one also holds 45 ounces of gold. I've got 15 ounces in there right now. It also holds 60 ounces of silver. I've only got 30 because I wanted you to see the difference in uh, how much extra it will hold. This is also a watertight. So it's got this beautiful rubber o-ring let me give you a little tip when you tighten this down so first of all the gold is considered the bottom this is considered the top where it says mercedes i'm just going to show you how to uh, get this bolted together the right way you might be tempted to get one corner and bolt it all the way down don't just go till it's a little bit snug go to the opposite corner till it's a little bit snug if you don't do that if you tighten this down this is going to lift up because the uh, O-ring will compress on this side and lift that side up, so don't do that. Treat it like a wheel that you're installing a wheel in your car where you don't do just round in a circle, you go opposite corners. So once you get them all snug, go back to the first one, then you can get it tight. Once it gives you a lot of resistance, like that's a lot of resistance, it's done. It's the, the gasket is completely compressed. You're not going to get it any tighter. All you might do is strip out the bolt holes, so don't do that. I'm going to send this to you. There's some foam sticking out of either side. This is going to go on a plane. When it's on that plane, if I bolt it like this and it flies on a plane like that, it's going to uh, create a vacuum and you're never going to get it open. It's going to be stuck. Actually, there is a way, but it's a real pain in the ass. So I will be sending this 
slightly open so that you're able to use it. But if you ever fly with this, please don't bolt all the way closed. You may never get it open again. So let me show you how to get the money out the easy way. There we go. How long is this video so far? Five minutes in. Five minutes, that's okay, this is important stuff. So let me show you the easy way to get the cash out, or not the cash, the cash is pretty self-explanatory. Easy way to get the coins out is there's a couple ways, I'm gonna show you the best way. So just grab $10,000 in a band, drop it in the top, doesn't matter if it's completely full, turn it over, pull it up, here's all your gold, here's all your silver. Oh, and we got two more bricks you got also. You just can't quit buying my stuff, can you? So check this out. These we call little minis. So this holds one ounce of gold. Uh, most gold coins fit in here. Not all gold coins fit in here. To close it, you're going to get it closed. I'm not going to include the gold. To open it, hold it like this. Twist it sideways. The magnets will catch. And you can play with it like a fidget spinner. I spin mine all the time. In fact, I got mine all jacked up because I spun it so much. You got a Batman series, which is all completely black with black magnets. You also got a mirror finish one as well, and it closes the same exact way. This one's a little bit slippery because it's polished. I'm positive you're gonna have a hard time opening this with gloves, but that's okay. Give it a nice little spin. If you drop it or break it or whatever, just call me, I'll make you another one, I'll charge you for it. I really appreciate you ordering all this stuff. Christmas is right around the corner. We're getting banged up heavily with Christmas orders. So if you guys are thinking about anything for Christmas at all, right now is September 29th, 2023. Let me, <coughs> let me know right away. By mid-November, we won't be able to take any more Christmas orders. So hit me up quick. See ya.